Pronoun da. Croeso nol. Welcome back to one of our assemblies. Today sees the start of our summer term. A summer term, I imagine, is going to be like no other we've ever experienced. But we'll get through it. We will work together. And I know your teachers have prepared fantastic work for you to do over the next couple of weeks. And that's why I'm doing this assembly today. Because our new topic is all about heroes. So I want you just to have a think for a couple of seconds. Who are your heroes? Who is your greatest hero? Why are they your hero? Just have a little think. And then I want you to tell a grown-up in the room, a brother, a sister, who your hero is and why they're a hero. That's great. Now, do heroes need to be trained for battle? Do they need to be famous? Heroes can be people who stood up for a cause. Heroes are people who've tried to make the world a better place. Heroes don't have to be well known. They can be found on the streets where we live. Heroes make sure that families and communities have the care they need. Heroes make sure that people feel safe. Can we all be heroes? Of course we can. I'm sure I'm talking to lots of heroes out there now. You may be sitting next to a hero. People watching this video could be quiet heroes who get on with their lives. They may help others. They may have illnesses or disabilities that make them a hero every time they get through another day. Not every superhero or hero wear their underwear over their trousers. Not e all heroes are James Bond type agents. Not all heroes can save a planet or turn back time like Superman. And not all heroes earn over £100,000 a week, even if they do score a winning penalty in a Champions League Cup final. Famous sportsmen or women, are they our heroes? When they score vital goals, win trophies, sink a putt that wins the Ryder Cup, score the winning runs in a Cricket World Cup. To many people, Ben Stokes was a national hero last summer. For scoring runs in two fantastic matches. But I suppose that depends on what team or individual you support. Our heroes help others. They don't look for a reward for their actions. They don't tell everybody what they've done. And most are quite often anonymous. We don't know them. They could walk past us in the street. And many are embarrassed when they are brought to the attention of the public. Now, I've looked in the dictionary this morning. And a definition of a hero is a person noted for courageous acts. Or a person who, in the opinion of others, has special achievements, abilities or personal qualities and is regarded as a role model. What makes you a person your hero? Is it that they're brave? Are they fearless? Is it that they put the needs of others before their own? Is it prepared to risk their own safety to help others? I've been thinking, and I think heroes are ordinary people. Ordinary people who do extraordinary things. And there's lots of people doing extraordinary things today. Like our fantastic NHS staff. Like our emergency services. People who are keeping the supermarkets going, ensuring that we can buy food. 
the refuse collectors, our teachers and people who work in schools who are looking after children as we speak. An extraordinary thing doesn't have to be life-changing. It can be anything else. It can be anything that takes courage and determination. Now, there's one man in particular who has shown this in droves. Not only is he a decorated war veteran, he set himself the challenge of walking around his garden a hundred times before he turns a hundred on the 30th of April. And he set himself the modest challenge of raising £1,000. His efforts captured the heart of the nation and he has completed the challenge not raising £1,000, not £10,000, not £100,000, not £1 million, not £10 million or £20 million, but over £26 million has been raised through donations from people right across our country who think that Captain Tom Moore is a hero. And he is, in millions of people's eyes, for doing something extraordinary in his everyday life. Now to us, boys and girls, walking around your garden a hundred times might not be something extraordinary. But when you think, Captain Tom Moore is 99 years of age. And that is a fantastic achievement. Now I've got a little task for you. I would like you all this week to draw a picture of your hero and write a few lines explaining why they are your hero. And I would love you then to post them on your classes Seesaw page so we can share our heroes. Now, Mrs Stornham is back after an Easter break and she is now going to be playing our hymn this morning, which is Kumbaya. Dioch Mrs Stornham. Dioch, Mrs Stoneham. I'm now going to share with you a poem written by an unsung hero, shall we say. A mum from the north of England called Gemma Peacock. And she wrote this poem called The Rainbow Children. The history books will talk of now that the time the world stood still when every family stayed at home waved out from our window sills. And those they loved but could not hold, because they loved them so. Yet whilst they did, they noticed all, the flowers start to grow. The sun came out, they can recall, and windows rainbow filled. They kicked a football in their yards, until the night drew in. They walked each day, but not too close, that time the word stood still. When people walked straight down the roads, that once the cars did fill. They saw that people became ill and they knew the world was scared. But whilst the world stood still, they saw how much the world, 
the whole world cared. They clapped on Thursdays from their doors, they cheered for the brave, for people who would risk their lives so others could be saved. The school closed down, they missed their friends, they missed their teachers so. Their mams and dads helped their work, they helped their minds to grow. The parents used to worry that our schools were put on hold. Their children wouldn't have the tools they'd need as they grew very old. But history books will talk of them, now adults fully grown. Those little boys and girls back then, the ones who stayed at home. They tell you that they fixed this world of all that they would fulfil. The rainbow children building dreams, they dreamed while time stood still. And that poem, I think, is fantastic because it tells us of the fantastic effort of you, our fantastic pupils, your families, for what you're doing to stay inside and stay safe. You are being our heroes. Because we know it must be difficult, it must be challenging not to see our friends, our families, our grandparents, who we probably spend an awful lot of time with. But it will be worth it in the weeks and months ahead when everyone is staying safe and we can have one big get together again. Doyle Gid, Slugger the Guy. Dear God, we thank you for the heroes that surround us, the everyday actions of extraordinary people that keep us safe at this difficult time. May I too become a superhero by my kind acts making sure we stay safe and helping our parents at home. Amen. Well, Diolchan Fawr iawn, Pawb. Um, I'll be back later in the week with another assembly. Um, and until then, stay safe. And I look forward to speaking to you then. Hoil Fawr.